Good day everyone. Welcome once again to my biology class with the topic cell. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to understand the meaning of cell, the discovery of cell and cell theory, that is to say how cell was discovered, and also the characteristics of cell, the various types of cell, the diagrammatic representation of plant and animal cell, the function of cell, and finally some basic cell terms. Now let's look at the definition of cell. A cell is the basic unit of structure and function of life. In other words, cells make up living things and carry out activities that keep a living thing alive. This is a diagram of animal cell and this is a diagram of plant cell. The next thing we want to talk about is cell theory. Cell was first discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665 using a compound microscope. Cell theory. All living organisms are composed of one or more cells. Cell is the most basic unit of life. All cells arise from pre-existing cells. These are the cell theory number one again all living organisms are composed of one or more cells second theory state that cell is the most basic unit of life the third theory state that all cells arise from pre-existing cells we want to look at the next slide which is the characteristics of cell number one all cells have interior called organelles Number two, all organelles are surrounded by a clear jelly-like substance known as cytoplasm. Number three, all cells are surrounded by a plasma membrane. This is a diagram of cell under a microscopic view. The next thing on this slide is types of cell. Number one type of cell is the prokaryotic cell. The prokaryotic cells are the first type of cell on Earth. They are cell type of bacteria and archaea. In this type of cell, there are no membrane-bound nucleus. Also, in this type of cell, the organelles are not bound by membranes. This is the diagram of prokaryotic cell. The next thing on this next slide is eukaryotic cell. Eukaryotic cell is another type of cell. Now, in eukaryotic cell, the nucleus are bound by a membrane. Eukaryotic cell include, includes fungi, protists, plant and animal cells. They possess many organelles. This is, an, this is a diagram of an eukaryotic cell. Diagrammatic representation of animal and plant cell. This, this, is, a, this is an animal cell. And this is a plant cell. Function of cell. Number one, cells are responsible for growth and development. Number two, they provide support and structure. Number three, they facilitate growth of mitosis. Number four, they allow transport of food substances. Number five, they are responsible for energy production. And number six, they aid in reproduction. Now on this slide, we want to talk about cell terms, that is some basic terms of cell. Number one, cell membrane. Number two, cytoplasm. Number three, nucleus. Number four, chromosomes. Number five, vacuoles. Number six, mitochondria. Now the cell membrane. The cell membrane surrounds the cell. Number two, cytoplasm. This is a jelly-like fluid that takes up most of the space in the cell. Number three, nucleus. The nucleus is a structure usually located near the center of the cell. The nucleus is the home to the cell chromosomes. Number four, chromosomes. They are genetic structures that contain information 
to make new cells. Number five, vacuoles. These are fluid-like structures used to store different substances. In animal cells, the vacuoles is often smaller. The lastly, lastly, mitochondria. They are referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. They provide energy needed to carry out activities. Summary. At the end of this lesson, you would have been able to understand the following. Number one, the meaning of cell. Number two, who discovered cell. Number three, the characteristics of cell. Number four, types of cell. Number five, the function of all basic organelles. And lastly, this is a quiz which you are required to solve and send your inquiries or comments to jimosmith at edifice.ng. Thank you.